Hello, hello, hello. I am the Lennox Mitch. Today, I'm going to take a look at XFCE desktop environment. So, let's get to it. So, I'm in a virtual machine, a fresh install of Arch Linux with the XFCE desktop environment. Now, one thing you have to remember, <laughs> and I say this in all my videos, about all the desktop environments, that a lot of the desktop environments, including this one, when you install it in Arch Linux, it's bare bones and it's gonna be kind of ugly and you have to configure it yourself. So for instance, Linux Mint comes with an official edition of XFCE. And if you download that and install it, your XFCE is going to, out of the box, it's going to look a little different than this. It's going to be more themed, a prettier, it's going to look nicer. And the same thing with Manjaro. If you download Manjaro, it comes with its own themed XFCE desktop environment. And again, it's going to look nicer. It's going to be a little prettier and themed and so on. And that's going to be the general rule for any distribution that has an official XFCE desktop environment, ISO, okay? But when, when I say this in all my videos about all the desktop environments, when you download in a desktop environment in pure Arch or pure Debian, it's gonna be kind of ugly and 1990s looking and uh, not so much themed or not so pretty. Okay, anyways, enough said about that because as usual, I'm repeating myself and over explaining myself. So this is it here. I haven't done anything to it yet. So let's fix the resolution. And of course, if you're doing this on bare metal, you probably don't have to fix the resolution. But because this is a virtual machine, I'm going to have to fix the resolution. So let's just see if I can find. Now, the thing is, too, is uh, I've never lived in XFCE. And the last time I played with it was quite a while ago. So I might be fumbling around a bit. Let's just do a search. Let's hit on the search button here. Application finder, it's called. Let's type in display. And there it is there. Let's click it on. Oh, I got to double click it. Okay. I'm changing the display and I do this in all my videos too. So <laughs> 1360 by 768. Let's apply it and let's close it. Uh, now we're on full screen. Keep this configuration. Yes. So the first thing I'm going to do is Let's right click and see if we can get to the wallpaper. Desktop settings. Oh, and they have some wallpapers here. And of course, if you installed XFCE from the official Linux Mint one, or the official Manjaro one, or the official some other distribution one, there's probably going to be even, probably going to be lots of wallpapers in there and nicer wallpapers than these. Anyways, let's try this one. And let's just minimize that. And that's kind of nice. I kind of like that. And of course, you have your clock up here. Uh, you have your application menu here. Okay, with all your stuff in it. Now, this is a brand new install of Arch Linux with all my configuration files and my favorite apps and so forth. So we have the full LibreOffice suite, uh, so forth. And, and so we click on the menu up here like this, but anywhere on the desktop, you can right click it and click on the menu as well. And it's funny, this menu comes in a light theme and this menu up here is in a dark theme. Isn't that interesting? How about that? Uh, like I said, I'm not that familiar with XFCE. Uh, now here we have, let's go to, oh, I see. Let, let's go to open folder. Let's see what happens. So we're in Thunar because Thunar is the file manager that comes by default with XFCE. And we have my wallpapers here. Now this terminal emulator is the one that comes with, by default with XFCE. But I also have Xterm installed with my configuration file. So let's do a search for it. Let's type in Xterm. And let's hit enter. 
and this is X term with my configuration file. And can we make that a bit larger? And let's do an H dot. So we're running at 340, that's a bit large, eh? Um, let's do shift minus. Okay, that's better. So this virtual machine, I gave it four processors, four gigs of RAM and no swap like I do in all my videos. And we're running at 341 megabytes of RAM. Now you gotta remember, XFCE is a full-fledged desktop environment. It's not a window manager. So 341 megabytes of RAM for a full-fledged desktop environment is fantastic. You're never going to beat that. Let's quit out of there. And let's just close this. So we, of course we have the um, clock is up here and your calendar. Uh, like I said, we have this application menu here. You can right click here and you have another application menu, which I really like. I really love this one because this is similar to the application menu I have in my configuration file for the awesome window manager. I love it. Just am able to go anywhere on the screen and right click. Okay. Now let's click on this. Let's go do desktop settings. Let's make it full screen. Can we change this folder to mesh? And can we click on this one? And let's close it. And let's just move this down a bit. I didn't notice that was like that. And there we go. We have one of the wallpapers that are in my install script. And let's right click it. And let's go to file manager. Oh, let's go to system. Here it is file manager PC man FM. And there's PC man FM. And what happens if I click on this? Will it open Firefox? And there you go. It automatically opens Firefox. Because Firefox is the only web browser I have installed on the system. Let's close it. So that opens up Firefox. This is your search one. You can search for any app that's in the system. Plus you have right click menu here. With all your stuff in it. And you also have a menu up here. Now let's see if we have any theming. Let's just do a search for themes. Appearance. So we have appearance. Let's click it on. Let's launch it. Let's go here. Let's do Matera Dark. But, ah, it's better. Let's go to Icons. Let's do Papyrus Dark. And let's just leave the rest the way it is. And let's close it. So now what happens if we do the right click? Ah, so now our, let's call it our movable right click menu <laughs> here. It's dark theme. So you have your applications down here. I, I love this. So you go down here, right click it. You have your applications here. We have multimedia, have celluloid, which is, well, all my apps are installed because I ran my install script. So I have celluloid, which plays videos, clip grab, which will download a video that you're watching on the internet into your hard drive and make it your own so that you own it. Caden Live, I do editing, MPV player for playing videos, OBS Studio for recording videos, Pulse Audio, this is a volume control, Rhythm Box for uh, playing music, oops, Office, you have the full LibreOffice suite, Internet, we have Firebox, Firefox, we have Remina. Remina is a remote desktop application where you can use it to remote into other computers. Uh, I mean, all my favorite apps are in here. <laughs> and system, this usage analyzer, analyzer HTOP, Ranger, Xterm. I really like this. I'm really impressed. Now what happens if we open up this? Oh, this is Thunar, right? 
Yeah, so this is Thunar, the, like I said, the file manager that comes with XFCE. Uh, now let's let's go back to the launcher and do it. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. Let's do a PC Man FM. Well, let's launch it. So that's PC Man FM. So let's go to um, desktop settings. Let's see what else is in desktop settings. We have menus, icons. So if we want to remove these from our desktop environment, you could go here, you could take off home, file system, trash, removable devices, and close it. And now our icons are gone. So we have four workspaces up here. It's really hard to see with this dark theme, eh? Yeah, it's kind of hard to see all these works, and it's kind of hard to see the clock, too. Let's go up to here, and let's go to font. Okay, let's go to appearance. Oh, here it is, fonts. Let's make the fonts larger. Default font is at 10. Can we make it bold and kick it up uh, two notches? Does that help? Hmm. So the fonts in the menu are larger, but doesn't make uh, the bar up here larger. Let's do properties. Ah, here's the font for the bar. Let's do sans bold. Let's click it up two. Ah, well, it makes it a little easier to read. What happens if we click it up another two? The 12. Oh, time is still at eight. <laughs> 12 sans bold. Select. Now it kind of makes it squishy there. I guess we got to make the bar thicker, right? Um, let's close. Let's go to panel. Panel preferences. Let's do, um, kick it up to 30. Let's go to 33. Okay, so I just made the bar thicker. It's a little bit easier to read the clock. Okay, and we do have four workspaces here. And the other workspaces are hard to see. I guess it's because of the theming. And this is the terminal emulator that comes with XFCE. Uh, it's not so hard to configure. And what's it called? It's called XFCE4 Terminal. Okay, and it's more easier to configure the next term. Gonna go so if you right click anywhere in the terminal and go to preferences, and let's see if we can change the font. Let's go into appearance. Here's the font mono space regular. Let's make it um, mono space bold, and let's it's at twelve. Let's kick it up to fifteen. Ah, and let's click it up again. I'm gonna make it. Eight, let's make it 18. There we go. And let's close it. So there it is. This is the XFCE terminal. It's easy to configure to change the font. Um, let's do a Neo fetch. And there's a Neo fetch. Now we're running at 426 megabytes. The megabytes have gone up because, well, I've been opening and closing programs and doing things, right? No, let's clear the screen. Let's type in um, HTOP. So we went up a bit because when I did a fresh reboot, we were running at 300 and some odd megabytes of RAM, right? So let's close that. And that's it. In this video, I took a quick look at the XFCE desktop environment in pure Arch Linux. And it's really hard to do uh, a video on a desktop environment I haven't lived in and because you know you end up fumbling around right and like I said at the introduction of my video if you download uh, Linux Mint XFCE or Manjaro XFCE or some other distribution that comes with an ISO that installs XFCE it's gonna be a lot more themed and a lot more beautiful I personally, I think XFCE is a good desktop environment. Now, I've never lived in it. And of course, if you're following my channel, you know that I prefer to live in a window manager. And my favorite window manager is the awesome window manager. My second is Qtile window manager. And my favorite desktop environment is Cinnamon. However, I do think that XFCE is a fantastic desktop environment. 
especially if you don't have a lot of RAM or if you're running on an old computer because it's really lightweight. It's been around for ages. It's a very old desktop environment, but it still gets updates. It's still being maintained. And I think it's a good lightweight desktop environment to run. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Linux Mensch.